what we're doing here today is we are going to be doing winter holiday cleaning. Now I know that the holidays mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To me, you know, it is full of family and joy, but it is also full of chaos. Just the chaos of traveling, of decorations, of I know all these things, which I love. I'm not saying that I don't love them. They're a huge part of what holidays mean to me. But in that chaos, I feel like I also probably like lose a part of myself and it really, really stresses me out. The chaos of the holidays adds just like more mental and physical clutter to my life and that then gets reflected in my spaces. So today we are going to be doing some deep holiday cleaning. Step number one was to actually go ahead and get dressed. Um, I have ADHD and I read on TikTok that if you have ADHD and you have a lot of things to do, then you should wear shoes. Like, so I bought a pair of indoor shoes. It works for me, but I don't know if it's like true because it's a, a real study or thing or if it's because of placebo effect. But these are my house shoes and they make me feel more productive. So first thing that we have to do is we're gonna hang up some picture frames. For my content creator people, this is how I create 90% of my content. Um, I got one of these cool tripods. I'll link it, obviously. I just set my phone up like this. And that is the secret behind playing the floor. Okay, so the photos can't go up until we clean the location that we need to clean. I don't know if anyone else's brain works this way, but for me, I have to work like room by room. So since we're going to hang the photos up in our bedroom, I need us to clean our whole entire bedroom first. Like it's not just enough just to like clean the space in here. I wanna get this whole area situated so then when we hang the photos, it can be like done in the bedroom. That means we gotta work on this closet. huge reason on why we do these days we kind of call them like a life admin day or something along those lines is because this of what we're doing which is hanging up the photos John Michael's doing all the handiwork stuff it seems very simple right it seems like a very simple task hey just get the photos on the wall but for us it also required doing a couple other things like cleaning our room getting our shit together to actually do it while it feels simple that hey yeah you gotta do all these things do it we just haven't prioritized it, haven't given ourselves the time, and that's what the importance of today is. So, I wanna show you guys these photos super fast though. I did do a partnership with Framebridge for this, but we love Framebridge. We have Framebridge in our house. We get, we, Everywhere. we love it. But I'm super excited about these. So we have three photos that we did through Framebridge. This one is not through Framebridge, but my dad did write a prayer at our wedding, and so I feel like I wanna, and then like we added it there and pressed some flowers from the wedding. So, I feel like I wanna add it. This was our invitation suite, and then we had a live illustrator at our wedding who was doing favors like, like watercolor, watercolor portraits. Yeah. yeah, so this was ours that she did of us. This was us from our wedding day. Those arches were the bane of our existence. <laughs> <laughs> so we added that, and then John Michael and I wrote handwritten letters to every single one of our guests, and then these were the letters that we wrote each other. But this was our favor, and then this is actually a piece of my dress that we tied on here. So we kind of have like, two shadow boxes and then one photo and then maybe that one you ready i'm gonna put it up how does it feel to have a photographic memory that you can just do all these equations and problems in your head it's, it's not what i have what do you have it's not photographic but i like math so okay um, john michael stop lying to these people you have a photographic I'm memory. <laughs> you do okay you have a photographic memory 24 and a half <laughs> <laughs> this is three offset. I just like numbers. I have a good memory for numbers. So. And random facts. Okay, John that's, Michael? That's true. What was the Braves batting average in like 01? I have no idea. <laughs> yes, you do. Team batting average? I have no idea. Yes, you do. Historically, though. <laughs> See? So in 2001, they won the National League Division Series. Or sorry, they won the pennant. Uh, no, sorry. They won the division. That's what I'm trying to say. But um, typically teams would bat in like the 260s, like a team batting average. Yeah, uh, would see. Be really good, two, 260s. But that was when steroids were like in the game. Okay, yeah. photographic memory. And this is the final product. I'm so happy with it. How would you describe our style? <laughs> this is a trick question. I don't have words for it. Okay, 
Well, when I- Maximalist I, and functional. Maximalist and functional for sure. I like things to look lived in. Like I really love having photos of us and our adventures and things like that around the house. I come from a house in which my parents never throw anything away. So like my parents' house has so many knickknacks and things around it. And I know that stresses you out. So we've had to work a lot to figure out like, you really like clean lines and super simple things. I really love like showing our personality. And so we've had to kind of compromise. I feel like this is such a good Here's life. what the compromise is. <laughs> if you look at our closets, maximalist. <laughs> if you look at our apartment, more of a minimalist. more of a compromise. More of a compromise. I give Lauren the closet. She she can do whatever she wants. Thank with you, them. babe. I like this too because like they're very clean lines and it looks very simple and elegant, but like it's still fun. Like we have mixed metallics. Our bedroom really has like a lot of different mixed metallics elements. Project number one. Cool. <laughs> let's get let's get a snack. Awesome. We ate some lunch. Had some lunch. And let's go do offices. Okay. Okay, so John Michael's cleaning his office, and this is a prime example of something that I've been putting off, but I need to do. So from our wedding, for each of our bridesmaids and groomsmen, we printed out a photo of us with them, and then we're writing thank you notes, and then we're gonna ship them off, and they'll be like kind of a little Christmas gift, kind of a little thank you, a way to wrap up the wedding. So I finally put everything in here, and now I had to get the bubble mills out to write the names to put in here. Right, see, random. It's been sitting in my closet of things to do, um, but now we're actually doing them. Y'all like to get on me for being type A, but we just finished John Michael's office and homie, homie's pretty type A. I'm gonna give you guys some deets. Number one, this is one of my favorite Erin Condren products ever. It's the Organization Center. I don't think they sell it anymore, but vision board with goals set out for the year, all of that. Number two, flat on his desk, he has his daily duo planner. And then this is the family planning pad that we customized to say today, work, home and personal so that he can outline what his day is gonna look like. Okay, I come over to his little sitting area and lo and behold, I open up this and he has, he's learning a, a new language right now. So he has his homework here and a simplified notepad. Okay, and this, this has absolutely nothing to do with being type A, but look, we um, used to use this as a bar cart, but obviously our priorities in life have changed. John Michael really likes efficiency. So down here we have all of the pods. I put sugar in my coffee, he does not. And then these are the mugs that he makes my coffee in. These are his coffee mugs that he likes to drink out of. And then this year we're doing advent calendars. John Michael was surprised to hear that. He said next year, what did you say? Next year we have to have a what? So we're gonna have an advent calendar budget next year. <laughs> yeah, cause we have a lot. But one of the ones that John Michael is doing is the Nespresso one. And and I'm excited to see his thoughts about it. This cute idea that I was like gonna be in my car and I was like gonna eat my sandwich and we were gonna chat about why I'm in my car. And because it's me, I ate literally almost all of my sandwich on the drive over here because I'm starving. We'll get to do part of it, but we won't get to do all of it. Next on our errands list, I actually needed to come to Michael's. The funny thing about New York is that there are lots of Michael's that I could have gone to. Essentially, I, I mean, we know I love Broadway musicals and for musicals that I really love or that they have people that I love in them, I try to get those posters framed. So I have one of Hamilton that's framed and then I have a waitress one with Catherine McPhee that I just like a poster frame for and then I have one I just saw funny girl with Leah Michelle who I love and I got her autograph on the uh, poster so I I brought the Hamilton one because I want them to use the same type of framing so we can have three frames we're gonna put in the bathroom it's gonna look incredible again this is something that has just been like on my mind that I need to do want to go ahead and do that and then number two is, I mean, I feel like 90% of my content is like, oh my God, I live in New York and I don't have any space, but that is my reality. And so I need to get some supplies to wrap presents and wrap like Christmas presents specifically. But because I don't have space, like I don't like keep gift supplies in my house. Like I only buy as much as I need that I can wrap for that year. So now it's time to go ahead and do it. And I, gift giving is literally my favorite thing in the world to do. I go above and beyond. And I also like have a lot of tricks for wrapping. So on my driver over here, while I was eating my sandwich that I was supposed to be eating while I'm talking to y'all, is I want you to go ahead and comment down below just some questions you have about life, about me, about living in New York, about my planners, about goal setting, about 2023, whatever it may be. Go ahead and comment a question down below. Before the end of the year, I will answer your questions 
in like while I wrap and I can show you all my tips and tricks and my hacks for like wrapping and like really elevating a gift from just like oh I bought this red paper to like making the present itself an experience but then like I'll also answer all of your questions so go ahead and comment down down below I need to finish my sandwich this is the bag that we are working with I promise today is not sponsored by Erin Condren in any way shape or form they I just happen to have shown you guys a lot of these products so this is one of their tote bags. I It's probably one of my favorite tote bags. I think it's built really well in it. I'm gonna have my camera, but right now that's up there. Now, if there's one place that we're gonna end up in a plan with lore organization or declutter video, somehow we always get here with the office. Somehow it always ends up that I'm on YouTube and I decide to declutter and clean it all with all of you guys. It's kind of like accountability at this point. Yikes, we we get here. It's a little bit of Santa's workshop right now. Still, we have wedding stuff in the background, um, but today we've called in and reinforcement. So dinner has been eaten, comfy clothes have been put on, and we are about to tackle the office space. How's it make you feel to come down here? A little is, bit overwhelmed. Isn't it a lot? It's like there's a lot going on. There's right. a lot going on. It it it's like overflow. This is wedding stuff that I haven't dealt with. Or this is Santa's workshop. This is guest hosting. Like all of our stuff for when we host people. And then over here, it's like everything that we film and edit with. So that all the spaces are being used. It's just like literally not functional. And that's what we wanna get it to. I wanna get it to functional. And look who's here causing chaos. You had her to help? Mason. Everyone's getting frame bridge this year for Christmas. Okay, so JM's salty right now because what are you doing? But you picked out your own gift. And now you're mad because I'm making you wrap your own gift. I did. I forgot I got it for myself. Like, literally need to reorganize all of these boxes. This is... Someone has not been here when we have done a, a, a basement office deep clean before. It has been three and a half hours and this is symbolic right now. No, you're not. You can leave at any time and you know that. <laughs> so the tea with this carpet is that we moved in in what? September of 2022. True yes. or false, right? Uh, September 21. September of 2021. And then I ordered this in Hello, like <laughs> I'm trying to practice safe cutting skills here, okay? Um, I think I ordered this in like Stop December or November of 2021. And we didn't get it until March. No, it didn't actually end up getting here. It didn't come until this summer. Till this summer. So like July of 2022. And then I stuffed it under the couch because we were busy. Moment of truth to see what this rug even looks like. Yeah, I have no idea. I had to literally fight with the people too because then it like went on sale. And I was like, one, I don't even have the rug, and two, you're not selling it for a sale price, so I want it for a sale price. Did you get it for the sale price? Yeah, I did, you know, I got a refund. Right now, we're bidding on Facebook Marketplace for a leather chair to go down here. There's gonna be a jump cut to like us in the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the carpet's gonna be. Where this table is, I'm gonna get a brown leather, like a, like a comfy chair. You know those like comfy chairs? Like you know, everyone's dad has like a comfy leather chair. I don't know. That's something I see on TV. And then I'll have my other brown accent chair over here. And then I'll need some sort of coffee table. Ba -da, ba -ba 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 -da. <laughs> Minnie, do you love it? Do you love it, Minnie? Down. Good. On your back. We put heavy things on the end of the carpet to let it sit down. And then we have this mirror which we're thinking about putting wallpaper on this wall, but we have we, we never bought it. When we signed the lease on this apartment, the intention is to be here for as long as possible. And so we wanna make this home. Um, and I think there's definitely been a part of us that's like, well, what if we have to move out? Or, you know, what if this is not, whatever. Like there's so many what ifs that like we haven't, at least for like our first year being here, truly enjoyed being in the space or like spent time decorating it or 
put it together because we're like, what if we have to leave? And now, guess what? We still may have to leave, but at least we would have lived in we it. We gave it our best shot. We gave it our best shot, okay? Our drill is broken right now. So yeah, and I've been searching Facebook Marketplace um, for a, a coffee table. Our drywall anchor is not working, so. We will have to finish this as a tomorrow project. Y'all, I told you we would be here on day two, and what are, where are we? <laughs> New drywall anchors. Let's try this. And we found a, um, a couch for. A uh, leather, leather seat or um, some kind. Yeah, like a, I can't speak I don't know, much. it's early in the morning, y'all. Early in the morning. So I actually have a Patreon call right now. So John Michael is going to be putting up the wall. And so I, I feel like I don't talk about the Patreon a lot. So I'm going to do a quick little promo for the Patreon. So I have a Patreon group. It is called Social Stars. Um, there's Sean Michael and the dog. Oh. <laughs> it is focused on individuals who are looking to build an authentic and empowering social media brand online, whether that is on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be. So my Patreon has kind of taken a lot of different forms. It started with planning, it's not planning anymore. It's social media now. And every single month we have two clout, two calls, one which is a live training and Q&A, and we talk about different things like content pillars or analyzing your analytics or how you can be more successful on social media depending on what your goals are. And the second call is a content planning call, so we do that for the month. I decided for to help us all like go into 2023 and make it a more smoother transition. I don't know if that's the right word, but to go into 2023 and to really focused on doing more of a cohort. So it's gonna be a one year program. Now, you don't have to pay for a year up front, you can pay monthly, so, cause I know it's like the number one question that I get. So if you're interested, I'm gonna drop some more information down in the link in the bio. What's up team? So. Lauren's over there doing a call with uh, Yeah, I, and I definitely will with one of her one-on-one -on -one clients. We We're about ready to put like this up. Shutter. Wish me luck, it's heavy. Here's how I like to set up my campaign wrap up. Probably need you to, to set it up. wash the, uh, I keep it very simple. wash the Again, glass. Very, like, how do we? Guys, I had two social stars calls and then look what's here. It's truly coming together, y'all. We have this extra chair, so I need to figure out what to do with that. But it's looking good, it's looking good. We did not budget today to do tasks that um, need to be done. So we have a couple applications, but um, that we're gonna go do. But this is coming together. Okay, so this video started out as a, a day where we were just gonna do things that we haven't done and then ended up being a complete office retour. So let me show you guys what we have here. I'm still having to use a ring light because I need to get I need to get a light bulb replaced. So we'll figure that out. But this is office space. I did some more decluttering of the planner closet. This we've talked about in a lot of videos, um, but y'all, I threw away every single pen I own except for these. These are my only pens that I currently own in my life right now this is the office right now i have this chair which is the only thing that feels a little bit out of place it was where the black chair is now uh, it's more of an espresso chair but i like that better look who is in the office and has their own space now so we put down the rug we have the table that is actually my um living room coffee table so i had to order a new one of those and so we're currently without a living room table, but for the office, right? Like that's what we love. This right here is what I'm calling the camera cart. Don't look at my trash over there. Don't look at that over there. But this is what I'm calling the camera cart. And I am putting all of my cameras that I own and that I use, and then I keep all my tripods and some of my event content creation stuff. Don't look at that, that's mess, but I need it for real and filming tomorrow. That is the cutest baby in the world. This is also where I keep the air mattress and extra supplies. This is the new couch, which Classic has tennis balls in it because that is my dog. This right now is still Santa Claus's workshop since Christmas is coming, but we can use it a lot more, a lot easier, and I still need to go get my wedding dress cleaned. I'm feeling like there's so much that's going on in the office honestly it's even been clean for like what 24 hours and i've used it so much more now i am actually preferring being down there than being upstairs which is good because i'm getting more work done and that's ultimately like what we want our offices to be so 
That being said, I'm gonna sign off. I have a little bit more work to do before I call it a night tonight, but thank you guys so much for joining us here today in a classic lore form. This was very chaotic and we didn't know where we were going to end up when we started, but here we are and I will see you guys here in my next video. Bye-bye.